Vidya, are you there? Yes. Oh, please start now. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Uh, Kawi, can you help me make me ask the house? Yeah, you okay. already heard. Okay. Uh, can you see the screen, everyone? Yes. All right. Oh yes, we just yeah. Okay. Let me start. So, good morning, everyone. Um, how are you today? I'm good. How about you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. How about you? Thank you so much for asking. Uh, now, before we start our lesson today, let us pray for God. Uh, let us pray for God guidance first, and I will let the pray. So, pray start. Pray and okay. Before we jump into the material, let me check your attendance first. Uh, is there anyone who have sent today? No one, no one. No one missed. All right, that's good. Okay, everyone. So today's activities we are going to discuss about. Okay. Uh, last week. Uh, last week we already learned about descriptive text, right? And I already divided you into several groups. Now in this lesson we are going to discuss about how to make descriptive text. Okay. Let me share the screen. Okay. Now, uh, today I uh, I want you to uh, work in your group uh, with your group uh, to make one of descriptive tags. Okay. So I want to remind you again about the descriptive tags. That is uh that is the text that uh what is it like uh to tell a uh, text that contain about description of an object, maybe it's about animal, taste, people, or team. Okay, uh, for Eddie's group, can you, can you hear me? Eddie's group? Yes, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, your group, uh, your group content with Dimas and Nadia, right? Uh, yes, Miss. All right. So, yes, this one in the group. First of all, you have to choose uh, what topic that you are going to uh, describe, all right? Uh, what topic that you are going to make in this uh, for the uh, for descriptive text? Okay, you uh, can discuss with your friend first. Okay, have you decided what topic that you are going to uh, make today for the descriptive text? Maybe it's about animal or maybe about people or king places that you are going to make. How about Dimas? Uh, yes, Miss Bigfish. Yes, Miss. Uh, we are going to uh, make about a place actually oh please all right so right now we are a bit confused about the general structure miss oh general structure uh maybe you mean about the generic structure right uh yes miss all right i will explain to you about the generic structure again so when you write a uh, descriptive text there are two generic structure okay dimas can you uh dimas ad and Nadia, uh please uh you're carefully what I'm going to explain to you. There are two uh, generic structure in this type of text. First, identification. Second, uh, the second one is description. In identification, you are introduced uh, what you are going to describe. Maybe it is about a person, a place, animal, or object that you are going to describe, right? You get my point? Uh, yes, miss. Right. Yes, miss. Then, the second one, uh, yeah. it is content a description about what you are going to describe. Maybe you describe about your place you are 
decided to describe about place, right? And then you have to describe uh, what contained in that place. Okay, did you get my point? Uh, yes, Miss. I have another question, Miss. Uh, yes, if we must. use place as our descriptive text, then yes. what we what we should uh, write in our text, Miss, if the topic is place. Okay. Uh, can you give me um, uh, what place that you are going to describe? Uh, we are going to describe about our house, Miss, our home. Oh, our house. Okay. Uh, if you want to describe about your house, maybe you can describe the room or the position uh, about your room, maybe your bedroom, the kitchen. Maybe you can describe uh, about the, what is it? Uh, the thing contained in that home, maybe the window or uh, the color of the wall. You can describe and what is it? Uh, what, uh, what you have in your house. Until that point, did you get? Uh, yes, Miss. I get the point. Right. Thank you. How about Nadia? Do you have a question so far? Uh, so far, no, Miss. It's clear. Okay. Do you still remember what you uh, the language feature about the descriptive text? What tenses that you are going to use when you want to write descriptive text? Uh, maybe using simple present tense. All right, you're right. So you can use simple present tense. Okay, now uh, you can start write the, uh, what is it, the descriptive text. And I will uh, invite you to read uh, what you already write, all right? Okay, you can start. To make you more understanding about uh, the example of descriptive text i will provide you in a whatsapp group right about the video related to the descriptive text you can access uh, you can access that Okay, everyone, I already sent you a video about the example of this descriptive text. You can access that as your reference to make a descriptive text. Okay, have you finished the text, everyone? Uh, How yes, about Eddie? We already done our text. All right, yes, uh, can you read the text? Done. Okay, the representative who wants to read the description, uh, who wants to read your work? Uh, I would like to uh, give some of our work, Miss. Okay, the last please. Okay, uh, the title is My Small House. Uh, I live in a small house. It has five rooms. Uh, there are two bedrooms, a living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Indeed, it is a small house, but I like living in here for, for wasting my spare time. When the door is open, I can see the living room. It is so small with only three chairs and a table, nothing else. I prefer reading a novel in this room. That's all, Miss. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Guru. Okay, great job for uh, this group, for Dimas, and also for Nadia. Uh, sorry, Vidya, for interrupting. Yes. Sorry, Vidya. Yes. The time is over. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, Miss. I will end it today. Okay, yeah. I think that's all. So I guess you need to. Okay, uh, so I think that's all for our lesson today. Thank you for joining my class. 
Uh, so far for your discussion, I think you have already done a great job. So thank you so much for joining my class. See you again. See you, Miss. Thank you. See you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, you so much, Media. Before we move to the next simulator, I need to, yeah, I need to confirm one thing from Media. So here, if I'm not mistaken, I I saw that. Uh, you've got several groups, right? Several groups at the same time, you are teaching descriptive text. So all the groups are given the same task to be done in that group. Am I right? Uh, yes, miss. Okay, then. So do you have, uh, did you have uh, students who have specific problems in the process of teaching and learning, especially uh, learning descriptive text? Uh, yes, miss. So, among those groups? I'm sorry? Which group? Yes, miss. Uh, at this group. Which group? At this, uh, group. At this group, yes. OK. They, uh, at this group, asked you about the gender structure? Yes, miss. Mm. Okay, then. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, I will give my further feedback later. Okay. The second, yeah, the second simulator. May I have or something? Okay, Miss. I will start. Good morning, student. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss. How are you today? I'm good. I'm great, Miss. Thank you. How about you? I'm good, too. Thank you for asking. OK, student. Before we start our lesson today, we will Pray together, okay? I will let the pray. Pray start. Pray end. Okay. Student, please check your friend who is not present today. Who is absent? No one. No one is absent. No one. No one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Today, we move to new lesson. Okay, what is it? Please, Dimas, can you help me to share a screen? Uh, yes, Vidya. Can you pass the host to me, please? You are already the host. Uh, they were. It's in, in, it's in they were. They were. Can you turn me on? Okay, thank you. Okay, today we will lesson. Our topic is profession. Yes, professions. In this life, we must have a job, right? Whether it is a teacher, doctor, Mm, farmer and of course students right okay student that was is called a profession please next slide Dimas yes where every professions will produce something useful for example Doctor help people to be healthy, a farmer helping food, and teacher help student to be smart. Yes, right? You get it? Yeah. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's. We will look at a few sentences. Uh, that start uh, 
said professions. Please next. Yes, I will read for you. The first, I want to be a teacher. And the second, I am a student. And the last, my sister is an artist. Yes. Okay, to the better understand, let's try to play. Yes, that's times group. Okay, I will make you three group. The first group is Eddie, Dwi, Dewa. And the second group is Dimas, Nita, Dika. Okay, the last group is Satyadi, Widya, Nadia. Okay. Okay. Please listen to me, the first group. First group, please make four sentences for about the characteristic of the professions, but don't say the name. You will make a riddles. Okay, can you please make now? For the second group and the third, you just, um, just guess what the name the that sense okay okay i think group one finish group one yes miss yes miss okay let's group one read for the sentence and the both a, a group will try to answer let's now all right so the first sentence is my uncle wears a white coat and helps others to recover what is my uncle's profession whose group can the answer hello can you answer the Dewey question? Yeah. Yes, Satyadi. Uh, it's a chef. No, it's not chef. I will read it once again. My uncle yes. wears a white coat and helps others to recover. What is my uncle's profession? Once again. Is uh, the doctor? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Okay, next. All right, the second one is my mother wears a long hat, wears an apron, and makes good food. What is my mom profession? Yes, anyone? Can to answer what's the profession? Uh, she's a chef. Yes, of yeah. course. Okay. Okay, please. The next question is Dewa. Group. Right, so. The next uh, sentence is, my father brought a hoe and started to produce vegetables. So what is my father's profession? Armor. Yes. Yes, you're right. Okay. The last sentence. Please, Eddie. Yes, Miss. The last sentence is my brother wore a black and white uniform and started playing the plane. What is my brother's profession? Okay, whose group can answer that? Pilot. Yes, you're right. My brother is a pilot. 
Okay, thank you for the first group and second and the last group. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, I will get enough for you today um, for the end the class. I will lead the pray. Pray, start. Pray, end. Okay, thank you. See you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, Rosanti. So again, um, due, due to the bad uh, connection, I was out for a few seconds. So I need to confirm one thing from Rosanti. Uh, in your teaching simulation, you had uh, two or three groups. How many groups did you have? Three, miss. Three groups, and did they? Uh, sorry, were they given the same uh, task to do? Uh, just group two and did the you? three. Only group two and three. What about yes. group one? Uh, make a sentence, but the other group make sentences. Uh, So this is a kind of game. You ask the first group to describe certain professions, and then you ask second and the third group to guess what profession uh, it was. Yes, yes. Okay then. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will let you know the further my further feedback later. Thank you, Rosanti. Thank you, Miss. Mm. Nadia, are you ready for the third simulator? As the third simulator? Yes. 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 Please, you can start now when you are ready. Okay. Uh, Dimas, can you make me be the host? Okay. Thank you, Dimas. All right. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Good morning, I'm good, Miss. How about you? Good morning, Miss. I'm good. Thank uh, you. So. I'm good. Thank you for asking me. Well, before we start our lesson today, let us pray first. And I will lead a pray. Pray start. Pray end. Okay, everyone. So in this lesson, we still learn about narrative text. And I know last week, um, I have divided you into three groups, and for Eddie's group, uh, which consists of Widya and Dimas, uh, you still confused about the generic structure of narrative text last week. Okay, I will share my screen. Can you see my screen? Not yet, oh, already. Yes. Uh, okay. I will give you an example and with the explanation about narrative text. Okay. This is the story entitled The Anne and the Grasshopper. And do you still remember uh, how many digital structures are the text? And can you miss? Should I miss? Okay, Vidya, please. Uh, I think interjection, complication, and orientation. Eh, reorientation. I'm sorry. Orientation, complication, and reorientation. 
Okay, it almost right, but the first generic structure is <laughs> but the first generic structure there is sorry. Can you my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Uh, sorry, I think uh, I get trouble. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? Yes. For the yeah. first generic structure is the option. The second one is complication and the next one is complication. And you can see uh, in the orientation, uh, usually in first paragraph and for the second paragraph, there are uh, there is complication. And for the third, paragraph is the resolution okay until this point uh, do you get it and are you understand about the generic structure of narrative of narrative text for Gusedi group yes I understand yes. That's me. okay um, after that uh, I hope you already know about the generic structure and then we move to uh, language features. You can see in my screen, this is the language features of narrative text. You can read the language feature in my screen. After that, give you assignment, please discuss with your group. Uh, and analyze about the language features of this story. Can you see my screen and the story? Yes, yes we can. Yes. Okay, you can, uh, you can discuss, start from now. And if you have any question, you can ask me. Uh, Gus Eddy Group. Yes, Miss. Have you any question? Uh, so far, not yet, Miss. Okay. If you're still confused, you can ask me to see uh, the language feature of narrative text, and I will give you to see the limit feature of narrative text. Okay, so far, are you finished with the, uh, the analysis of the limit features in the story? Yes, miss, we have done. Okay. Um, well, uh, now we discuss about the language features of the narrative text. The first is using past tense. Can you mention what is that, uh, that which using past tense? Uh, I found the past tense is was, trapped, was, uh, screamed, okay, waited, waited, agreed, agreed and, and followed. So followed. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, and for the next, we discuss about using advert of time. Can you mention the word uh, which adverb of time? One, one day. day. Yes, one day. in the first paragraph, right? Yes. Okay, uh, for the next is time conjunction. 
we find uh, we found mm. finally and in the end. Finally and the end. Okay, very good. And for the next is specific character. We know that the character in the story is the mouse uh, there and the weapon. Yes, very good. And for the next is action verb. Uh, for the action verb, uh, we got trapped, scrape, and jump. Screen and jump. Okay, very good. And for the last is direct speech. For uh, the direct speech, we Can found. Can you see? Uh, Come down here. Okay. Come down to school so you can help me get out. Okay, very good. Um, well, so far, are you understand about the language feature of our text? Yes, please. Yes. Time is over. Okay, ma'am. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I think that's all for today. And thank you for joining my class. I hope you all are you already understand about the material about narrative text. Thank you for joining my class and see you next. Thank you, me. Thank you, Miss. Okay, thank you so much for Nadia. And I was I was out again while you are teaching. Uh, may I ask you questions? How many groups did you have? Uh, three groups, but I focus on one group at this group. One group. Uh, why did you only focus on one group? Because one group, it still confuses about understanding the generic structure of narrative text. And what about the other two groups? What did you do with them? Uh, nothing, because I focus on each one group, miss, because they still confuse about the material. So let me imagine, let me imagine this. So you have, uh, let's say for example, in, in, in a classroom, in the process of teaching and learning, you have three groups and one of them, I mean, one of the groups uh, is facing problems in understanding the material. And then you try to uh, reteach the students uh, in that group only while doing, uh, while giving nothing or no task for the other two groups. Is that so? Yes. Okay. Uh, in real class, if you do things like this, yeah, it's okay. It's it's good focusing. You, you are not ignoring the students who uh, do not understand the material, but in real class, if you do this thing, ignoring the other groups, yeah, I'm afraid the other students will make troubles. They will uh, get very noisy and later they will be troublemakers. Yeah, they will, um, what is it? They will cause another trouble in class because they have nothing to do. So I suggest you, yeah, while focusing on this uh, uh, group, who has troubles or who has problems in understanding your material, it's better for you to provide the other activities for the other two groups so that the uh, no one, no one is, is uh, what is your classroom while they are busy doing, doing uh, their own work, yeah, they don't have enough time to uh, make trouble. Do you understand what I mean? So next time, yes. uh, mm, this is also uh, a note to all of you later, yeah? 
when you have uh, to teach in the classroom, you need to provide extra activities in order to anticipate 